Welcome to another Dready Says, and this time, because I'm a bit of a fan of Top Hump, as I'll be calling them, I got sent one, uh, I bought one, and I've been lent one, and with the imminent arrival of various things that need pumping up with a standard sort of car bike tyre pump instead of a sup pump, we've got the Smart and Portable Electric Tire Inflator by Topham. Doesn't say Top Up on there, but it has, uh, it is from the same factory. So we're gonna give it a go on my e-bike, normal push bike and my motorbike and see how it does. We will fully charge it before use. And this will be two parts in one video. Right, 35 quid on Amazon, links down below. Like, subscribe, let's check it out. Right, straight off the bat, we have a rather minimalist box uh, on the back. It has some details. I'm not open this yet. So, ooh. Oh, we've got a bag already. Oh, here we go. Manual. The pump, which is about the size of a Galaxy phone, but obviously thicker. Standard valve type. I'm hoping it's got a. Is it Schrader, the thin one? A nice little bag. We do like nice little bags. And the adapters. Okay, so. Hopefully. It does have a Schrader. It doesn't look like it does. This is for. Oh no, this would be it, wouldn't it? Yeah, so it does, it has all the adapters you need. Uh, that's for beach balls, that's for sort of racing tyres, because my off-road bike has um, thinner profile tyres. Yep, that's great. And a USB-C, yes, it's USB-C, I do like USB-C. And that's it. So let's turn it on without reading the manual. There we go. Set your PSI. Oh, it's got a light. See? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Why not? I like that. Uh, it's come fully charged. Another winner. Uh, what have we got? Bike mode, moped, so we're guessing motorcycle car mode and beach ball mode and custom mode. Okay, what I don't like is motorbike mode's gone into bar already. So I'm gonna give the manual a quick read and then get back to you. Right, manual, uh, you start stop it by pressing the power button. You can choose the mode, increase, decrease pressure. We've already seen all the buttons. Um, it's the modes basically. Motorcycle, road bike, mountain bike, it, yeah, you just find your inflation and go for it. American valve, French valve, and ball. They call it a French valve. Why not? Schrader does sound French, I suppose. Um, that's it. Great, well, what more is there to do? Let's take it outside in the garage and pump them up and see how we get on. Right, it is pump test time. See if the camera auto adjusts to the garage. Good one, Insta. Right, so we're gonna start with the e-bike. Here we go. Right, these are 40 PSI, standard valve. Here's the dog to not help. Okay, let's turn her on. 40 PSI. 
we'll just screw straight on. All right, it's telling me it's 22 PSI. So yeah, these needed pumping up, didn't they? Just triple check, PSI 35 to 45 and go. Right, screws on, screws off really well. Better check the back while I'm here. Where's the valve? Yeah, that was at half pressure as well. Okay, next bike. These are totally flat and this is on the Specialized, the Rock Hopper. It's eighty-five PSI. That's a lot. Yes, these aren't off-road tires. Uh, it's sort of been a hybrid now for a few years. There's no air in them. <laughs> Oh no, it's 11. Right. Oh, you can hold the button down. Let's get up to 85. And go. Right, that took a little longer. So. Still saying full battery. Let's do the back. Oh, it's not too bad over it. Full battery, still apparently. And I've just dropped it down. After this one, we're going to do 40 at the back, 35 on the front, on the FX, the Harley, that was only done a few days ago, so that'll be fine. So far, so good. So to go from 11 to 85 PSI, it's taken two or three minutes, which is fine. You should never run your tires down that low that you need that anyway. So I'll just let it finish off. All right, there we go. That's 85 front and back. It's been on constantly now in a really hot day and it's still not overheating. Right, I'm going to use car mode. Oh, that says it to bar. I don't know what bar is. Ugh. Right, let's go custom. Come back down to 45. The custom, the, the preset modes aren't particularly useful. Oh, I turn the light on and light off. Right, we're still full battery. Right, motorbike time. Yeah, I do check these every couple of weeks. So this just needs seven PSI. Right, we're gonna wrap up there actually. Um it's it's warm, it's not hot. That's pretty much how I go on my pump reviews now. But yeah, for the size, I can't fault it really. So it's done two push bikes, now I've done the motorbike with it. Yeah, it's all good. Money well spent. Now when the mag wheel arrives, 
this will be in the kit. Well, this will be in the van all the time anyway, because uh, the e-bikes come away with us. All right, guys. Still full battery, apparently. So I'm going to put it into charge. I might pop down in the description, you know, if it did need a charge, how long it takes to charge. But that is quite a lot of pumping, especially 85 PSI on each. What's that? 100. Hang on, my mass is terrible. Two eights, 16. It's 170 PSI on that that went in. So, yeah, it's all good. All right, guys. Like, subscribe, usual business, nearly swore. I'll catch you for the next one. Oh, and take care.